Before you begin, use the installation guides to verify that you have all the contents required for this installation. If anything is missing, please contact Promethean Technical Customer Support. Perform a risk assessment to safely assemble and install this product. You may require additional help. First, remove the locks from the active panel box. Squeeze the plastic tabs together on the front and back of the box to lift the cover off the base. You may also unscrew the metal locks on the sides to slide the box off the base. Next, determine where the active panel will be installed. If you are installing on a hollow wall, please use a stud locator to find at least two studs. Now, refer to the installation guide to determine the measurements for the active panel, mark the holes, and drill. Be sure to use appropriate wall anchors that will support the combined weight of the active panel and the wall mount. Also, make certain you comply with local building codes and guidelines. Remove the wall bracket from the active panel, rotate it 180 degrees, and secure it to the wall. Make sure it is level. Next, remove the vertical wall mounting bars from the active panel, flip them upside down, and reinstall them. Now the active panel is ready for the Active Connect Key Series to be installed. Take the mounting bracket that came with it and align it to the four holes in the top corner on the back of the active panel. There is a small cover at the top of the bracket. This prevents the Active Connect G series from being taken out of the bracket. Unscrew it so you can place the Active Connect G series in the bracket. Place the Active Connect G series in the bracket so the HDMI port is accessible from the side of the active panel and the USB ports are on the top. Screw the cover back in to secure the Active Connect G series after it has been placed in the bracket. Plug in the HDMI, power, and USB cable into the port labeled USB. On the active panel, plug the HDMI cable into HDMI 3 and the USB cable into Touch 3. Next, use safe lifting techniques to mount the active panel on the wall plate and secure it. You may also use a safe mechanical lift if one is available. Once the active panel is secured on the wall, attach the safety screws on the wall bracket. There are two of these, and they are located on the underside of the two vertical bars. Now, plug the power cable into the active panel. The power switch is located near the power cable. Switch it on, and a red light should display, indicating the active panel is receiving power and is in standby mode. Turn on the active panel with the remote or from the power button. The light should turn green. If the Active Connect G Series screen is not displayed, select the correct source with the source button on the active panel or remote. Once you have seen the home screen and verified the touch interaction is working, the installation part of the active panel setup is complete. To continue setting up the Active Connect G Series, please watch Setting Up Your Active Connect G Series with an Active Panel V5 next. Be sure to make the user guides, pens, and remote accessible for anyone to use. You can find more information about the Active Panel and Active Connect G Series on our support website. Thanks for watching.